Hey guys, I'm Marcella Kastrup and today we're going to be talking about television convergence and digitalization. What? Oh, you know, the way television changed throughout the years because of technology? Right. So you remember in the early days of television and no, I'm not talking about black and white. I'm just saying the time that you actually had to watch what was on TV didn't work really well, did it? And then a few years later, it came things like TiVo or pay-per-view where we could actually record shows that we wanted to watch anytime we wanted to watch them. Oh, thank God I recorded my show. Seriously, can't wait to watch it. I want to watch cartoons! No, right now I'm not going to watch cartoons at all. I'm going to watch my show. Mommy! Dang it! Yeah, that only worked if you had more than one television. However, that wasn't the only problem. There's also this thing called geoblocking. You know, when a certain show you really want to watch is not available in your country, or you have to wait weeks or even months to watch that episode that you really, really can't wait to watch. <sighs> can't believe I actually have to wait a week before I watch the last episode of How I Met Your Mother. I mean, come on, guys. Like, what? Oh, hey! Yeah guys, spoilers can ruin lives, okay? So because of that, people actually turn to VPNs, which is actually what happens when you change the IP address of your computer to be somewhere else instead of the place you are. So instead of your IP address being in, let's say, Australia, it would actually be in the US, so you can have all the access of their programs that you don't have over here. So what happens next to television? It actually created things like Netflix that you can watch legal content online. I mean, that was great, right? Yeah, but it was firstly introduced in the US and it only came to Australia years later. But okay, in 2015, Netflix came to Australia, but it had way less content than the US one. I'll just say it's still not enough. So because of the increase of demand, TV cables actually started uploading their content online on their own websites so people could watch anytime they wanted their original content without having illegal problems. As we viewed from this video, television has changed a lot through the years. I mean, first of all, you only have TV to watch and then you could record your programs, now you can watch them online. Yes, of course, we still have problems like geo-blocking or VPNs and stuff, but that's changing. Netflix has more content and still increasing, and now we even look for entertainment in other platforms, like YouTube. So tell me what you think about the future of television. I mean, do you think it's gonna be completely online, or are we still gonna have TV monitors? I hope you liked this video and that you actually learned a bit about television convergence and digitalization and how we react to that. And I'll see you soon.